That was my band. Look, we got a co-host. We got two co-hosts. That's Pollyanna. And I'm Jordan. take these yahoos to the park. Their favorite, Lake Hollywood. Oh, probably 10 seconds to where she was doing what her par parents call her crackhead rolls. She comes here and she rolls around until she gets her little bra off. So there's that. And there's that one over there peeing. Good times. Look at our view. Tell me you have a park with a better view than that. I don't think so. Hi. Hi. Where's Pollyanna? Go get her. Go get Pollyanna. Hi. To take a look at something. I don't know the story behind this, but can you see that? Way up in the hills? It's kind of just out there in the middle of nothing. And I don't really know what the significance, who put it there, or why. But I think I'm gonna look into it and see if I can't figure it out. You got the ball, go get the ball. Ja. Ja, go get the ball. Like no. Dammy, Dammy you all left. Everyone, he left it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He might be a little case of a mother audience or deer. Good job. Peter. Decided to make a turn that I've never made before. Sometimes you see things you've never seen before. Like a seahorse on the back of a U Haul. Now, I don't know where this goes, this road. Like I said, I've never, in all the time I've lived out here, I actually didn't know that these roads existed back here. Um, I don't know. I'll take it and we'll see where it goes. A dead end. Which is a shame because this, wa this road, you can see it from the side. It winds all the way up. Well, let's get out of here. Let's take some more long and winding roads. See where they lead us. I, um... I thought of an interesting thing to do for the vlog today. It's going to be very uh, specific to rock and rollers, but I think that it'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to go home, drop the dogs off, and uh, I'm going to look and make sure that this place that I want to go to is open. It'd be a brief, uh, brief little visit, but I think it'll make a really awesome vlog. So stay tuned and see what you think. Wow, look at that. That's an overview. That road over there is where we were trying to get to, but it's all blocked off. Looks like they're doing construction or something, so. Back off to the seahorse. Let's see if we find the seahorse. We find the seahorse, we know we're in the right spot. I love gates. Um, here he is, here's the seahorse or whatever that was. What a handsome devil he is. Look at that guy. It's a ride. It looks like it's a float. There's a little uh, steering wheel and everything there. And a little seat for like a little kid. Huh. So as I was saying, I love gates. Um, as I was saying, I, I love gates. Like looking at these gates out here and I made a wrong turn. Ended up in a dead end with a vanity, do you call them vanity gates? A vanity gate that had a K and a B on it. If anybody can think of a famous person that might be a K and a B, let me know, because I'm kind of interested in maybe who that was. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I really can't think of where it would who it would be. Oh, wow. Look at this overlook. Sometimes you just keep taking Roads that lead you. Oh, there's a hiking path here too. Check this out. There's a little hiking trail over there. 
at the top of this thing. All right, so we've hit our destination and I could not be more excited. I really hope that they're open. I didn't call and when I drove past, it looks like they're like almost not in business, but I know that they've boasted that they are. Where we are is Musano Music in North Hollywood. Musano Music is where Randy Rhodes, the famous guitarist and composer, learned it all. The story is Randy's mom was an accomplished musician uh, and composer, and she uh, <clears throat> she attended UCLA and found this piece of property and got two other music teachers to go in with her and they bought it and they've opened this music store and it's been here forever. Randy Rhodes and his brother Kelly, Kelly still teaches here and I hear that he's gracious enough to give tours if, if he has time and there's free time or, or there's nobody here. Um, they both taught here. Um, Randy Rhodes was the guitar player in Quiet Riot. He was also the guitar player for Ozzy Osbourne and uh, tragically died in a plane crash unfortunately. But we're going to go ahead and go up here. In fact, one of the most interesting things about this place is for, I mean, it looks like a little house. Um, this is where Randy played his very first show. They have a room inside called the Grand Salon, and Randy played his first show. Here it is. Well, let's try. I see stuff on the inside. Unfortunately, they're not open, but check this out. See the shrines of Randy? They actually have Randy's amplifiers, some of his guitars, a lot of memorabilia in here. They boast that this place does not have uh, any computers. They've never switched over to computers. I'm going to walk around the building and then I'm going to call and see if I can get any information. Here's the back of the music store. I'm guessing a lot of these are, uh, I'm guessing a lot of those are music rooms. I hope that it's not closed down. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call the number and see if I can find out anything and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so like come back in an hour? Yeah, about an hour or so. He should be. You'll know if he's here. Uh, he drives a white Cadillac. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. So, so basically what we've just found out is that I'm an hour early and that uh, Kelly Rhodes will be here and um, we'll, we'll get to go inside, guys. So this is his neighbor and he said that they're going to they're looking at making a documentary about Randy Rhodes. That's right. And we're trying to make sure that this house is never, uh, or that this music store... Stays open. Yeah, it's, I mean, we've been talking, it's it's like the birthplace. It's it's more important than Randy Rhodes' birth home. You know, this was his birth home. This is where he learned to play. This is where he played his first show in the Grand Salon. I mean, it's... His mother built this place in 1947. They planted that tree right there in 1952. As you can see, it's... it's 50 something years, it's grown quite, quite large. This was the original uh, wing right here, and then they added this all on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I walked around back and it looked like there were two separate buildings that had kind of been put together or, yeah. or added on. His mother was one of the last teachers of John Philip Sousa, or students of John Philip Sousa. No kidding. I, wow, yeah, I saw she went to UCLA and, yeah. and two, her and two other teachers had bought the this together. Yeah. and. They've never had a computer in there, they said. It's, or it's like never been computer run. Right, right, right. It's so cool. And then they have some instruments in there that are super, super rare. I shouldn't probably say this, but, you know, super rare, super expensive. They actually have a horn from uh, right after the Civil War. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. The kind of trumpet they don't even make anymore. That's incredible. Yeah. We'll come back here in an hour. Uh, we'll look for the white Cadillac. We're going to grab something to eat, and uh, we'll go in and take a tour, guys. Well, there we go. I was an hour early. Apparently, Kelly teaches from two to eight, and he said Kelly is a huge fan of having people out here. He loves to tell the stories. Um, that guy was telling me that uh, that there's a room that Randy used to teach out of, and they kept basically they've kept it a shrine and kept all of his 
um, his stuff in there and they feel it's haunted. They said they definitely hear things and uh, wow, we are gonna have a blast today. I am so excited. We're, I mean, Randy Rhodes, Jesus, if you don't know Randy Rhodes, I, I, I truly consider there to be three phenomenal guitar players in the history of rock and roll music. People that changed the way guitar was looked at, the way everything was done in guitar. Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, and Eddie Van Halen's buddy, Randy Rhodes. <laughs> well, it hasn't been an hour, but I went around the corner to wash my car, and then as I was driving down the street to get something to eat, I look over and I saw the white Cadillac. So I flipped around, and I'm gonna come over and talk to Kelly Rhodes now. All right, well, here's the deal. Kelly Rhodes is awesome, but uh, because he has so much unique Randy Rhodes stuff, he doesn't just let you go in there and like roam around and it's not like a, a birth house or anything like that. What, um, what he does is he schedules our appointments. So I have an appointment scheduled with him for September 9th. We're gonna come here on Friday, September 9th at four o'clock, and he's gonna give me a, a tour where I get to ask anything I want. He's gonna show me things that he said nobody knows about. Things that no rock and rollers have ever seen. He has the electric guitar that Randy learned on that wasn't even Randy's. Randy only had an acoustic guitar when he was learning, but this, this guitar is what he played on. Uh, it was a borrowed guitar and that was what inspired his love for uh, rock and roll eventually. So, unfortunately I didn't get in, but the footage that I did get, where I put the camera up to the window and the, that's the Grand Salon. That's the Grand Salon. That's where Randy and his brother had a band together. His brother was the drummer. <clears throat> now he's a, um, he's a classical guitar teacher and he puts out his own records. This is one of his records. You see that? And uh, they performed their first show in there. And so I brought up to him, I said, God, have you considered like having some famous people that, that played with Randy or whatever just come in there and do a little show for like 20 people and film it? And, and he said, it's not the first time it's been brought up. So he and I actually ended up talking for, <laughs> what was funny, it, it turned out to be almost an hour, but he had a lesson coming in. So um, he just, we just didn't, he didn't want to limit my time in there. There is a nominal fee to do it in there, which I'm, I'm cool with because uh, for what we're doing, it's going to a good cause. Like that store has been open. He said his mom died a year and a half ago and she opened this in 1948, I believe he said, uh, and she, or 47. And she taught here until 2006. So it's, it's really important that this, this music store stays open. It's the history and it's the museum of Randy and his family and their music and the music store in the valley. So, like I said, we're gonna come back and uh, when I mentioned that our buddy Dean Del Rey had interviewed Kelly, he said, oh my God, man, I, uh, I love Dean because Dean asks so many great questions that people never ask. Uh, tell Dean that I'd love to have him on and, uh, or I mean, I'd love to, to be on his podcast again. I've got some more stuff that we didn't get into. So we went ahead and we put Dean on speakerphone and we called him and uh, they're gonna go ahead and do that second podcast. And uh, I invited Dean to take the tour with me on the 9th. And so he'll kind of co-host this vlog with me. So you have that to look forward to. I know it's not today, but it's two weeks and it's gonna be awesome. I really had no idea that um, the first band that like really kind of blew Randy Rhodes away was Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper in 1972, Kelly took uh, Randy to see Alice Cooper and he said that they were amazed because they'd never seen, they couldn't believe that there was a band that nobody was watching. They said you'd go in there and they were so bad that everybody had left the entire venue. And I had heard that same story, uh, that Frank Zappa had relayed that same story, that's why he liked Alice Cooper was that he was like mystified by this band that was so bad that nobody liked. Um, but yeah, so when Randy and Kelly formed their first band together, Kelly was the drummer and Randy was the guitar player. And they weren't an Alice Cooper ripoff, but they were doing the same style as Alice Cooper at the same time and said that they would wear like 
old wedding dresses and stiletto heels and the dresses were like all ripped up into shreds and stuff that's what they would wear to perform in so one might say that they were doing Alice Cooper but they were doing Alice Cooper better than Alice Cooper and uh, another thing that I, I thought I would mention and I'm gonna post their little like flyer in here you can take lessons there still they're only $25 for an hour $25 to take classical music lessons in Randy Rhodes music school from his brother it's pretty amazing my nurse he said it's 20 so anybody under 18 you're getting a five dollar discount go support local music help them out these two. Look, look who the aggressor is. Ja. Look at him. Ten pounds of fire. Are you bugging her? I'm hanging out at a friend's house and a friend of theirs created these pretty interesting, aren't they? So detailed. I love it. Look at that. That's original art. I'm going to go picture by picture. Now let's go over to this one. And then they also have something pretty cool I got to show you. Even beyond this. Little sideshow bob head for the hand there. Like Simpson sideshow bob hair. He looks mesmerized by the hand as well. Ugh. How cool is that? How cool is that? And I, I also have to show this. When you have a friend that has this in their house, you show it off. That's pretty much it for the day. Um, I want to offer this up. Anybody that's my follower, anybody that watches me that loves Randy Rhodes and wants to ask a question, since we'll be going there in two weeks, leave your comments below, text me, email me, message me in some way. Let me know what you'd like me to ask. Um, this goes out specifically to Matt Stump, uh, Dennis Konecki, anybody that, uh, that I know loves Randy Rhodes. Send me your questions, I'll ask, we'll get to the bottom of it. Until then, vlog over.